Night in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. Number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred because her mother... No, if I told you that, it would tip the whole thing off. Let's see. Incident number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred because all the stores... No, that would tip it off, too. Why don't you just take a look for yourselves? Elizabeth! How are you this morning? Those are sure pretty flowers. What kind are they? Glad? <laughs> hey, you'd better say hello to Alvin. He's headed this way. Hi, honey. Well, hi. I see you've been out in the garden again. You've got... How come you said hi before I got here? I heard the pitter-patter of your tiny gunboat. <laughs> oh. Hey, look at me not sitting down. Darling! And you're not hanging on to anything. I knew you'd be proud. <laughs> well, of course I'm proud. Come on, take a step toward Mom. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, you can do it. You'll soon be 35. <laughs> I try. Good boy. <laughs> now, just as soon as you learn to wave bye-bye, Mommy's going to take a nice long trip without you. <laughs> you know, it's fun being married to you. You're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes it easier to talk to you. <laughs> Go on, darling, sit down. You don't look natural. No, I'm not going to sit down, Elizabeth. Why not? The minute I do, you'll think of some place to send me. <laughs> no. To the store, maybe, huh? Well, none of the stores are open and there's nothing to do. Come on, sit down, relax. Why aren't the stores open? Because it's Tuesday. I love Tuesdays, don't you? I somehow have a feeling that this conversation's getting away from me. Why do you love Tuesdays? <laughs> because I can tell myself day after tomorrow, I can say day after tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, brother. <laughs> What's so special about Saturday? Well, the next day's Sunday. I love Sundays, because you can always tell yourself that day after tomorrow is Tuesday, and then I can tell myself the day after tomorrow, I can say the day after... Aren't you going to stop me? No, you said yourself there's nothing to do. Go on. Rattle on about day after tomorrow. It's dull, but it is very uninteresting. <laughs> okay. I love January, too. Because right in the middle of a storm, I can say in two months it'll be March. And I love March because then in... in... Why aren't the stores open? Because they're all closed. Say, you know, it's a good thing that you taught me to walk just now because that's just what I'm going to do, and I can also wave bye-bye, so I'll see you again. Why are you home today? It's a national holiday. Well, that's why the stores are closed. Not all of them. Surely there must be one drugstore that you can send me to. Not a one. It isn't only a national holiday, it's national give the clerks a break day. Bye-bye. No, really, Albert, all the clerks in all the stores have the day off. It's really a good thing when you stop and think about it. It's a good thing for me, too. I'm not going to move from this seat all day. Right here. Well, I have work to do. Oh, no, you don't. You're going to relax, too. Here's the paper. Read. Oh, no, sweetie, the house is a mess. I don't care. Go on and read the paper. Relax. Hmm. Well, maybe for just a few minutes. All right. If you read the entire front page, I'll let you do a little work, all right? All right. All right. Starting at the top, it says the Daily Enterprise. The paper for people who think they can get a better paper. <laughs> and then it says seven cents. And then it gives the date, Tuesday the 21st. And then there's a big fat headline. Mama. Oh, my gosh, what's she got? It's her birthday. <laughs> Mama's and I forgot all about it. I, I run down to the drugstore and see oh, if you can... Oh, no. National, give the clerks a break day. Well, there must be one store that's open. Now, I didn't even send her a card. Well, honey, how come you forgot it? Well, she usually reminds me. <laughs> Easy. Let's see, there must be something around here that we can wrap up and take over to her. That's an idea. Hey, honey, how about that horrible vase in the front room? She gave that to us. <laughs> how about that brand new book just came in the mail? We haven't even opened it yet. Oh, good. Uh, you, you go get it and I'll see if I can find something to wrap it in. Oh. Here. here we are. This writing paper ought to do it. Uh, if I just had some rip... Here, put the book down, honey. That way? Yeah. I'll wrap it up. Think of something else. What's wrong? You can cut. Fat, 50, and famished. <laughs> I tell you what you do. You, you, you make her a card. Here, you can 
use this. And um, just think of something cute, honey. Why don't you draw a picture? Maybe we can burn it around the edges and, and make it real fancy. I'll see what I can dig up. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll make a poem and I'll draw a picture. Uh, Alvin, how about some records, maybe? No, honey, that's too scratchy. Would it do any good if I sandpapered them? <laughs> oh, that's silly. Alvin, we just have to think of something for her. I wouldn't hurt her feelings for the world. Hey, she collects steel engravings. Where are you going to steal engravings this time? <laughs> what are you mumbling about? Steel engravings. Steel engravings with president's pictures on them. I don't get it. Money. No, it's too cold. Yeah, it's a little hard to get, too. How do you like that? Huh? We didn't forget, though you might think... Alvin, why the picture of the elephant? Oh, honey, I wasn't thinking. You know, an elephant never forgets. It just... Why don't you change that to a pig? No, honey, I didn't mean that. No, change it to a horse. Honey, I didn't mean that. Look, no, honey. to a cow. Look, honey, no. I'm sorry, honey. I wasn't thinking. You see, I just... Oh, it the... isn't that, Alvin. It's just I don't have anything for Mama's birthday. And, and the stores are all closed, and I can't think of anything. And, and she'll be hurt, and when she's hurt, somebody else gets hurt. And take these silly flowers oh, out. Oh, yes, yes, I will. I'll take them right out, honey. Wait. Huh? The flowers. Alvin, look. Flowers. I'll write another note, write another card. And listen, don't draw any, any elephants this time. Just something real skinny. Draw a snake. No. No pictures. I'm just going to say happy birthday, love. Okay, where's the one with the elephant? Where's right. the one with the elephant on it? Give me that one. Oh, no. Oh, oh good. Okay. Now. Hurry up, honey. I'm hurrying. How do you spell mama? M. Oh, no. You do the flowers. I'll do the flowers. Here. Here, you go on. All wrapped up. Hurry up, honey. Um, are there two M's in Mama? Honey, I don't know. I'll get a dictionary. Yeah. Be right back. Elizabeth, he wrapped the elephant picture around the flowers again. Wait a minute. Aren't you ashamed? Oh! <laughs> Thank you. In just a moment, we'll bring you incident number two in Life with Elizabeth. Incident number two in the life of Elizabeth occurred when the man at the paint store sold her five quarts of varnish. So what do you do when you've got five quarts of varnish around the house? You slap it all over the floors, naturally. Well, maybe you don't, but Elizabeth sees to it that Alvin does. Take a look at this. <laughs> Elizabeth. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was clever. Elizabeth, what are you doing in that closet? Apparently, I'm waiting in here for the varnish to dry so I can get out. Elizabeth, will you save your sarcasm for a time when you haven't been stupid? Alvin, I'm going to ask you a direct question, and I want a direct answer. Shoot. Don't tempt me. How often do you, do you saw yourself off of a tree limb? the same number of times you go into the closet to sleep. Well, that was a pretty good answer, darling, but it doesn't get me out of here. Elizabeth, don't do that. Oh, don't. I just wanted to see if it was wet. Well, of course it's wet. I just put it on. <laughs> oh, here we go with the funny stuff again. Oh, don't you see what a ridiculous situation this is? You've actually painted me in the closet. <laughs> I can't get out. How often do you saw yourself off of a tree limb? Take it easy. I'll think of something. I've already got it figured out. I'll tell you what you do. Uh, go get me a rope and a mop and a jack handle and a gallon of kerosene. What do you want with all of that junk? Well, nothing. But while you're out looking for them, I'll just walk across. Oh, please, don't do that. Now, just take it easy. Just take it easy. Now, you can always walk across as a last resort, right? Now, I'll think of something to keep us from ruining all my work. That's right, darling. We wouldn't want to tarnish the varnish. Is there a trap door in there, Elizabeth? Well, there is, but it leads down into the dungeon, and I'm afraid of the dragon. I mean, up above. Well, there, there is a trap door in the ceiling. What did you have in mind, Einstein? Well, I thought maybe you might crawl up through the trap door, crawl through the attic, and crawl down through the trap door in the hall. Uh huh. Well, it, sure, the trap door's only about eight feet up. I've got it. I could put on a light spring dress, and if it's springy enough, see... Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. 
Well, all right, but there's only one thing wrong with your trapdoor idea. Too high up? It's that big. I don't want to say it's small, Alvin, but you'd have trouble getting a sugar cube through it. Elizabeth, is there a trap door in there? There was, but you kept talking and it healed up. <laughs> Elizabeth, can you, you think you can jump across? Well, why not? I could get a long running start from, from the back of the closet. Will you stop being so clever and think of something? All right. All right, now, now the brain goes to work. The brain. There isn't a chandelier, so I can't do my trapeze act. And I'm not happy, so I, I, I can't walk on air. How about a tightrope? I never trust a rope that drinks. Uh-huh. 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 Spell backwards is uh-huh. Here, catch. Honey, now look. Elizabeth. Oh, this is no time to read. Please, on me. Elizabeth. Catch. Please, will you? There you go. All right, now pile those up. And I'll do the same over here. Elizabeth, what does the reading matter? You get it? Reading matter? <laughs> Elizabeth, come back here and listen to my joke. Honey, I told... Honey, you, you, you were throwing the books and I said, what is the read? <laughs> What's that? All right, just watch. Now, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, honey. I... Stand back, Alvin. Look out. Get out of the way. I'm out. Okay. Timber! Oh! oh! A bridge. <laughs> Elizabeth, you made a bridge. I should have sent you a dental bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, let's cross. Oh, Holly, what's the matter? Come on, walk across. You know I can't stand heights. I tell you to walk across the board. No, you come on over here and carry me back. Look, it won't hold my weight. Come on, walk across. Well, how do you know it'll hold mine? You're not exactly a tub of lard, you know. You keep Mama out of this. Elizabeth, look, you do something very intelligent, and then you get silly. Will you walk across that board? Uh, I'll try. Okay, come on. Oh, it doesn't seem very oh, steady, Alvin. Wait, right. wait, wait, a, wait a minute now. Look out. Wait a minute. Hold it, honey. Look out. Wait a minute. Come on. Oh, look out. Wait a minute. Right, now I've got it. Here we are. Ah, here we are. <laughs> here, give me your hand or something. Well, here, take this. And turn it around. What's look. wrong with it this way? Well, it, it, it did oh. like grabbing a hold of a wet beard. <laughs> got it? Yeah, now he's a hey. dope hole. I'm not. Come on. Oh, Alvin, I can't. <laughs> Sissy. Bully. Wait a minute. I might as well... Aha! <laughs> How did you spell that? Never mind. <laughs> Take a hold of the yardstick. What am I supposed to do, inch my way across? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on. All right, now, stand. No, don't pull. Don't pull out, but I won't be able to do it if you pull. Oh, baby, come on. No, come on. No, look, look out. Come on. You're wigging it. I'm not either. <laughs> what do you think you're crossing? Come on. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. I'm glad I'm over, too. That's uh, pretty smart thinking for a sissy. And that's pretty bully bullying for a bully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you what you do. Why don't you finish the room and, and I'll fix you something to eat, huh? All righty. Where's... Alvin. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Go over the board, cross the board and get it. Go oh, on. not on your life. I'm going to stay right here on the mainland. Well, look, honey, that board won't hold me. Go ahead. Go on, live dangerously. Why don't you try? Well, uh, don't push me. I'll go, I'll go. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Sagging, Elizabeth? No, but the board is. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm, honey, I got wait a minute. Oh. That was close. Yeah, we might as well give up, honey. You might as well pick the board up. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the brush won't be any good, but I can get another one. Yeah. Hey, by the way, what were you doing in the closet so long? Well, Stormy and I went in there to get a blanket for Here. his bed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I got to reading magazines. You know how you do. Yeah. And then Stormy fell asleep and... Stormy. Stormy? In the closet? Shh. Maybe he's still asleep. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Just a moment, we'll bring you incident number three in Life with Elizabeth. Incident number three in the life of Elizabeth occurred the day she began her singing lessons. 
You might say the whole thing turned out to be a howling success. Anyway, if we hurry, we might get over there in time to see the first lesson. Now sing. <laughs> oh. No, no, a little louder now. Oh. A little louder, please. Oh. Hey, take your hands off her. <laughs> uh, don't worry, honey. Uh, I'll take care of him. And this is my singing teacher. The singing teacher? What do you need a singing teacher for? Well, well, I have to sing that stupid women's club song again, and I'm not going to be embarrassed like I was the last Would time. Would you mind? Well, honey, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, and not I, only that, they're, they're putting on an operetta, and I might get the lead. I hate to be a bother, but I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> well, let go of his arm. Oh, my gosh, I'm sorry. Oh. Just... Uh, Mr. DuPaul, this is my husband, Alvin. How do you do? How do you do? I'd like to shake hands, but I can't find it. <laughs> it's still back here. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Easy. I'm sorry. It's right now. There you are. Oh, I think I may faint now. Oh, now, you're going to be perfectly all right. Alvin, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, how did I know? I thought he was trying to choke you. How's the hand? Well, I think the bone's sticking out right here. Oh, no. Oh, no, it, it's your cufflink. Oh. Oh, bone sticking out. Uh, may I see you for a minute, dear? Will you excuse us, Mr. DePaul? Yeah. <laughs> Alvin, everybody isn't stupid. You know, he heard what you said. What did I say? Bone sticking to uh, And another thing, don't come leaping in here and practicing <laughs> jujitsu on my singing teacher again. I still think he was trying to break your jaw. These guys get loose and there's nothing you can do. Go about. watch your fights. Go on. Well, I'll be handy if you need me. Just go on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, shall we go on? He's strong, isn't he? Well, he just didn't understand. Uh, uh, shall we go on with the Lulu Lulus, Mr. DePaul? Oh, my name is Fred. I thought your name was Frank. No, that's my brother. We don't speak about him. <laughs> uh, he plays jazz. Well, how, how about the Lulu Lu? Well, that's my sister. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. No, no, your Lulu Lu's are excellent, yeah, really. And now we're going to have a new exercise right up the scale, you know, starting with do, 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 do. I do my exercises and end your commercials at the same time. <laughs> and when you get better, we'll open the window while you rehearse. Yeah. And if I get real good, I, I could do regular singing commercials. You know, like um, Fred DuPaul, three dollars a lesson. That's too much. Alvin. <laughs> even his voice has muscles in it. Oh, well. There were actually two of them. There's the duet from the operetta they're going to put on. And then there's the stupid women's club song. <laughs> hail, hail, hail to the women's club across the street from the bus depot. Long, you see, it used to be across the street from the jail, but we moved. <laughs> But, you know, I, I don't particularly care for your bus depot. Why not? It's a beautiful building. It's brand new. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't mean that. I mean, I mean your tone. I want to feel your throat vibrate, you see? Now, bus depot. Bus depot. Now, louder, please. Bus depot. Be Alvin. Oh, no. <laughs> your Alvin had a much richer sound than your depot. If we, if we ever moved across the street from a bank, you'd really hear some notes. <laughs> well, let's not have any levity, please. Now, now let's try your Alvin again. Uh, Alvin. A little louder now. Alvin. Louder now. Alvin. More? Alvin. I got it. Tell me this bluebird wasn't trying to choke you. That's bluebeard, not bluebird. What's the difference? One is feathers and one is hair. Well, he had his hands at your throat, didn't he? Oh, let go of his arm. Well, 
my arm back now. Wait, here it is. Oh, Not easy. Easy. Oh, easy. Alvin, what has come over you? Well, what kind of a husband would I be if I didn't do something where I saw somebody choking you? Well, I was only trying to show her the difference between her Alvin and her depot. There's a bulletin. You go watch TV. Go on. And don't watch the fights. It makes you belligerent. Oh, honey, look, I think I'll stay here. The fights are bad anyway. All I do is clinch. I can stay. Uh, that's fine. I hope they'll be very happy. Well, if you, if you need me, I'll be handy. I'm just, just standing right out over here. Don't you think we'd be safer if we tied him up? I think he's protecting me. Well, you know something? He is. Ev, uh, Ev, uh, would you like to try the duet now? Oh, well, very well. <coughs> Oh, yes, I, I'm familiar with that, you know. Would, would you mind putting my hand on the keys, please? Does your arm still hurt? No, no, you're sitting on my hand. <laughs> you are not, you are. Oh. I guess, I guess it's still numb. <laughs> you must be numb all over. <laughs> the part of Griselda, and you'll have to sing the part of, uh... wait a minute, now where is it? Here, here it is, Charles Inc. <laughs> no, that's the publisher. No, I, I sing the part of the jealous lover. <laughs> <laughs> At last you've returned, oh my jealous lover, handsome and full of conceit. You're sweet. Why did you leave me, my jealous lover? Soon I'll be quite obsolete. You're sweet. Life is a gay chansonnet. You're a bold one. Love and then quickly forget. You're a cold one. There's a mad menu. in his cave will be safe. Do you, you know the next part? I think so. Uh, where he discovers she's been running around with the village. The village what? The entire village. She can't make up her mind, remember? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, now I remember. And then he enters from over here, you know? He says, I, I, uh, hear, I... I hear you're going out with every single out in the village. <laughs> No, no, no. Come here and take a beating, girl. No, no, no. Come here and take a thrashing, girl. No, no, no. Oh, that, that's very good. Is that's it? very good. And now the high note. Help. Help. Help, help, help. Why must I keep repeating, girl? Come here and take a beating, girl. No, no, help, help. A simple little thrashing, girl. Or just a little lashing, girl. No, no, help, help. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We were singing that time. Honey, it didn't sound any different than the other times. That's not a very nice thing to say. Your wife needs confidence, and you're destroying it, along with my arm. <laughs> she sings at the women's club all the time. No, darling. I need singing lessons. I was absent one day, and everybody thought they'd had the piano tuned. Oh, well, that's different. I don't know. Let's hear that duet. Should we do your suite for him? Oh, Come on. Uh, Why don't you sing this with us, Alvin? Me? Oh. Yeah, it's right easy. All right, what do I read? Yeah. There. See, we can uh, all... Do me yeah, you just... All right. Yeah. At last you've returned, oh, my jealous lover, handsome and full of conceit. You're sweet. Hey, say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. everybody. Why do you leave me? Just a moment, Betty White will return to say goodbye. 
And now here to say goodbye to you is the lovely star of our show, Betty White. Thank you, Jack Nance. And thank you. <laughs> thank you. And you know, it might interest you to know that Alvin is now taking singing lessons in exchange for jujitsu lessons. <laughs> Until we see you again. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>